Hi, I'm Josh Shroud, faculty in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering and Earth Sciences and the Department of Biological Sciences. Over the last few months, I've heard numerous questions from my colleagues on campus about the university's COVID-19 dashboard. What types of tests are included? Where's the saliva-based testing information? How come it seems like the numbers are changed retroactively? Well, I'm here to give you the answers to these questions that keep bubbling up. First, there are two types of testing procedures included in the dashboard, diagnostic and surveillance. Diagnostic tests involve individuals showing symptoms of COVID-19 or those who have been exposed to someone who has tested positive. Surveillance tests involve testing randomly of swaths of people from across campus to identify asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic individuals to help avert potential outbreaks. Of the two types of testing procedures, there are three ways in which they can be administered. The PCR test, the antigen test, and the saliva-based test. The PCR test uses a nasal swab that must be sent off-site for results and typically has a one to two day turnaround time. The antigen test is also a nasal swab test, but this is performed on campus and returns a result in 30 minutes. The saliva-based test is also performed on campus and results are available within 24 hours. Remember, the Notre Dame dashboard shows only the tests conducted by the COVID response unit or crew. The next question I'm hearing is, how many saliva-based tests is Notre Dame administering? The recent update of our dashboard answers that question. Saliva surveillance tests are now included in the dashboard dating back to September 21st. Surveillance testing data includes both nasal swab and saliva tests. Want to see how many tests were administered for a given day? Just hover your cursor over the dark gray portion of the stacked bar graph. For example, let's take a look at September 28th. Move the cursor and voila, we see that there were 444 tests administered that day. Here's what the dashboard looked like on the afternoon of October 7th. Even though we know what day each test was taken, the results do not come back instantly. So when the results are returned, we retroactively allocate positive test results to the correct day each test was administered. For example, all of the results that are available at the time of publication of the dashboard from October 6th testing are shown the next day, October 7th. On October 7th, you notice that there were four positive cases reported from the 1,399 tests administered on October 6th. When the dashboard updates again, we can take another look back at the October 6th results. Now, we see there are a total of six positive cases from the same amount of tests administered. This means to get an accurate sense of the number of positives for any given day, you need to wait one to two days for all the results to come in and for all the positives to be attributed to the day the test was taken. I hope this answers some of the questions you've been wondering about for the COVID-19 dashboard. 